Today, I'm going to show you how to install a Dynan exhaust or for that fact, any exhaust system in your Audi S3. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we are underneath my S3 and we're gonna start taking the exhaust apart. One of the problems that I am going to be running into is that the band clamp, as you can see here, is completely rusted. I was under the vehicle last week to try to undo it and I accidentally snapped or unbroke this one here so what we're going to have to do is essentially drill through these bolts here to undo it so that we can move this band clamp out. Anytime that you are underneath the vehicle, make sure your vehicle is safely supported. In this case, my vehicle is on the quick jack system. And as you saw earlier, I do have one jack in under each corner of the quick jack. So I'm pretty secure at this point. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill. Also make sure that you have or are wearing some glasses because you do not want to get any type of metal into your eyes. All right, YouTube, so after about four different bits and 15 minutes worth of drilling, we finally got it out. What I did was I drilled through the head to weaken the bolt. I went ahead and took a screwdriver, put it right here and just pried it apart. So the band clamp, this portion is off. Now we'll go ahead and get started on this one. All right, YouTube, we were able to su successfully drill right through those. And as you can tell, here's the, the band clamp and how it holds in. And here is, I don't know if you can see, but the end result of my work. Okay, so if you've noticed, I have zip tied the mid pipe to the axle because it does drop down and you want to be nice and safe. From here, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to remove some of the bolts that are holding uh, down or holding in the exhaust. Just moving south here to the rear of the car, you'll see one bolt or one hanger here. Again, heading down south. What you'll want to do here is you will go ahead and remove this bolt here that drops the hanger down. Moving to the other side, there's the other one right there. 
we'll go ahead and go back up north make sure that we didn't miss any additional bolts that's one that we talked about earlier so all together you also do want to remove this cross bar I believe that you do not have to but you can if you want I believe Dynan says that uh, they do want you to remove it I'm just a little concerned that with the rust from the East Coast you will have uh, some issues at least I will have some issues and oh one more I did forget about this one here so we will go ahead and remove these four I just wanted to share with you a quick tip this hanger here is the only one you cannot get off what I ended up using was an adjustable C-clamp type of wrench and all I did was I just pushed it right off the hanger again this is the only one that you cannot unbolt off the others you're gonna have to go ahead and unbolt I did also want to let you know that you do need to remove the exhaust valve section here or the uh, controller this piece goes right in here and on the other side I will show you so it'll help you out this clip here you want to push in and what that does is it releases that and you're able to pull it out there is one on the other side and I'll go ahead and get that taken care of now I'm going to go ahead and lower the exhaust. We finally have the exhaust off my car. What you have to do here is you're going to have to replace that and put it on the new Dynan exhaust. You'll go ahead and remove this piece here. And then you'll go ahead and remove this piece here. Now as you can tell, that right there, moving to the other side, and that right there, are going to be your exhaust flap controllers 
those do not go on the Dynan setup. Dynan bypasses that. And here is my Dynan setup. Okay, so the exhaust has been completely put on. This is the Dynan pipe. And again, it's about to the cap. I wouldn't say quite cap back, but the resonator. All right, YouTube, now we're going to go ahead and bring the car down. We're done after about three hours worth of work. We're completed. A little more difficult than I thought it would be in terms of getting or connecting some of the dynamic pipes together, but that was kind of my mistake. I should have uh, studied it a little beforehand. 